I ordered a Ruxin Pro from Alibaba five and a half months ago, but it never arrived. So I got one off Amazon and the Alibaba unit arrived a week later. <laughs> so I have two, which is actually a good thing because they both came with missing parts. You can see these on Instagram for anywhere from about $75 up to about $120. On Amazon, they range from about $35 to $45. I don't suggest ordering anything from Alibaba. There's an extended set of water stones that I purchased with the one from Alibaba that go up to about 3,000 grit. Along with these base stones, uh, you'll see in a second, they go up to about 1,500 grit. Now, none of the grits over 1,000 really feel right to me. I don't think they're actually that fine. They feel coarser than that. Now, I, you know, I would expect that. These are very inexpensive water stones. It's easy to set up. You know, it takes less than a minute, and the instructions are fine. The base unit, remarkably, the one that attaches to the table, is actually rock solid. Like, I, you know, props to Ruxin Pro. They got that part right. Now, as you can see, some of these parts are plastic. And where plastic meets metal, I don't know about these parts, y'all. It's cheap plastic. The stone holder is simple. It doesn't lock the stones in place by anything other than the pressure applied by the spring and the locking nut, which to my surprise actually works just fine. Uh, the supplied stones are water stones, so of course we're going to have to soak them for about five minutes. That's, you know, that's no problem. That's pretty normal for water stones. Now the clamp is not really the easiest thing to deal with, but it is effective. I was missing this bolt in one unit and this other screw in the other unit. The clamp jaw is open wide enough to accommodate a 3 8 inch spine, guys, so that's pretty good. The span of the sharpener, I think it'll sharpen blades up to around 14 inches, maybe longer. It's, it's very versatile, in other words. It will accept just about any knife. I don't think the missing bolt in the middle actually affects anything, to be honest, and it's probably not needed as the two outside clamping bolts do the trick just fine. So if you, don't, you, know, if you only want to tighten down two instead of three, you know. You can find your angle by zeroing an angle finder on the blade or clamp and then just measuring the sharpening arm angle or the manufacturer says the clamp is set to 15 degrees from the table, so you can just measure the sharpening arm angle without calibration and add that to the number 15 to get your sharpening angle, something like this. You guys, check out the huge amount of slurry generated by these stones. Now, for some wet stones, slurry is said to be good because it provides more grit and fresh grit to speed sharpening. I don't know if that's true. But whatever, this is a lot of slurry. These stones are just, they're cheap. They're more binder than they are aluminum oxide grit, and they produce a mud. <laughs> you know, on soft stainless or carbon steel, these stones will cut fine, I'm sure. But on modern stainless that's hardened well, it's going to be arduous to sharpen anything. These are just going to wear down so quick. Check out the rod holder moving up and down. I didn't notice this while I was sharpening until a few minutes. The set screws just have low thread counts and poor tolerances, so nothing tightens down and stays put, basically. I took the limiter off the back here and put it on the top of the set screw, and there's already a limiter on the bottom, so it's holding it in place and keeping it from going up and down too much because it, it otherwise would. Another solution for this problem I saw in a review was that they moved the limiter screw that has an Allen wrench slot in it to the sharpening ring holder and tightened that down with an Allen wrench, which seemed to work at least for the time being. I mean, I already wiped it down a couple times before now, you know. So here is a tapered tang, and this is something you need to look out for on cheaper sharpening systems, is will it accommodate a tapered tang? Can you lock down one width of a spine and then lock down something narrower an inch or two away? And this clamp does. It works just fine. Here are some diamond stones I bought off Amazon that are often packaged with the Ruix and Pro. They fit the sharpener. And I wanted to see if they were better than the whetstones, because I didn't anticipate much success with the whetstones. These are like 20 bucks, so... I'm not expecting a lot here either. And the plastic handle comes loose. I have to take it down, tighten it back up. The cheap plastic housing around these metal bolts is just not going to fare well over time. Wow. 
By the way, this is an important point. Edge Pro stones will fit this sharpener. My TS Prof stones fit this sharpener. So that's going to be sort of important when we talk later. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's some dust sort of coming off the end of the knife and over here. And I thought it was maybe metal dust, but I don't think it is. If th this is the tips of the stone where I haven't really been using it on the knife. I haven't been doing a lot of contact or rough. The center is getting smooth. It's already smooth. So, um, you know, not even one knife in, half a knife sharpened, and one of the stones is already losing its grit. The grit's sort of falling off. So it's working okay, but this is a, this is a cheap stone. So this came straight off the sharpener. I haven't really stropped it yet. It probably should be stropped. It, you know, it catches in a few spots, but the point is it sharpened just fine. So missing parts, cheap plastic, cheap plastic, cheap plastic, cheap plastic, cheap plastic, <laughs> or might as well be cheap plastic. So you can buy for $10 on Amazon, a metal ring and clamp for the sharpening rod, which is probably a good investment. And you can get decent diamond stones for about $50 as well. Uh, polishing stones can be added on top of that. So where does that leave us? Let's go over the pros and cons. Pros, it's relatively inexpensive on Amazon. It has a remarkably solid base uh, that I didn't really expect to see. And it's compatible with Edge Pro and other stones. Believe it or not, it also accepts a wide variety of knives, which I didn't think it would. So, you know, not all systems do that. Cons. The price has gone up on Alibaba, and it could take five months to get yours if you order it from Instagram or Alibaba's site. It relies on cheap plastic parts. It has cheap screws that don't bind or hold well enough. Both of the units I received had missing bits. The supplied stones are awful. To fix this system costs between about $60 and $120, depending on how many extra stones you want to buy, and uh, be certain there is little to no customer support. So what's my conclusion? I think I have two points. Believe it or not, guys, if you can afford to spend the money to fix up this system, I think it compares favorably to more expensive ones. Now, you have to accept that there's no customer service with that. Out of the box, it is a straight mess and unusable for anyone who plans on sharpening more than a few knives per year. Good luck, everybody.